Hello. I'm kind of making this video after the fact, but I um, thought maybe this could be helpful for somebody. So on my 2007 Skag Wildcat, when I would engage the uh, mower deck, I would blow a fuse every time. Um, so the first thing I did was try to rule out where uh, the short could be. And there is a clip down here that comes from the, uh, the switch, the PTO switch, and then goes into that. So this is the part connected to the switch. And this part here was actually um, going through the bottom right there. So I disconnected it, put a new fuse in it, activated it, and it did not blow. So I knew it was from this point uh, down below into the clutch. Um, when I went down underneath there, I saw the wire, two green wires going into the clutch, and then uh, took off a plate, and I'll show you what I found in this picture now. So basically what happened is, is the, uh, the clutch had worn away and then uh, caused the wires to short. So let me show you what I'm doing. So instead of having to buy a new clutch, I'm going to take these two wires and put a heat shrink butt connectors on here. And then I have the other end, which I found out was actually previously repaired. Um, but I added a substantial amount of length to it, and instead of running it up through that tight area um, down below, I'm actually going to run it around uh, and make sure that there is no um, impingement of any kind. So I'll show you how I do that. So what I'm going to do now is uh, find the end of the connection that I need. Sorry about the sun. Um, connect that. And I'm just going to push this down uh, through the original hole. I have it actually double uh, wire loomed. So there's a quarter inch and then I got half inch over top of that. So there will be no way it's going to rub. Um, and at that point underneath, that's when I'm going to reroute it to the clutch. All right. Kind of hard to twist it with the wire loom. Take it, take it, all right, so that half inch is really stuffing that hole. Um, beautiful, so now that half inch is where it contacts that point, and I'm going to zip tie it so that it will not move. So I got it down. So I got it down in a space that I'm happy with, and I got it zip tied. I don't know if you can see that okay, but right there. So this is where it ended up now. And what I'm going to do is zip tie it to this, and then bring this around and just have it like that. I don't think anything's going to get caught in this just because I just mow my grass and for it to get up all the way past the axle uh, that'd be something so let's try it out see how it works. All right so we got the heat shrink tubing on just have to put some heat to it. Um, I like where this is at and this is going to come down and probably put the half inch over top of that and this will sit just like that. Let's get it buttoned up. So I've got the heat shrink all done. I've got the large wire loom over top of that. Double layer it. I'm gonna put some zip ties on there and then get this moved out of the way. I'm gonna allow a little bit of extra flex. Not that it'll need it because this doesn't actually move from uh, here, but just in case it does, there'll be some flex. So I'll get the zip ties on the back of this, 
so it doesn't move up and down and then I'll throw one here. So this is how I ended up doing it. Again, that comes down, zip tied tight up on top. This is zip tied around there. More zip ties, I put three on here just for fun. And then a handful up here. Uh, so I think that should be pretty good. Let's uh, give it a shot, make sure it works. like I got that fixed but my switch is now bad it works only when I pull it and twist it clockwise about I don't know, five ten degrees so that fixed that but now we got another problem so time to buy a new switch thanks for watching bye